32 degrees. You guys know what that means. Time for some winter fishing. Okay, so the boat's in the water. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while, guys. Uh, I'm in grad school right now, and I just haven't had a lot of time to fish. But I finished up my last exam yesterday, so now it's time to hit the lake. So let's get after it. that jerk bait. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> he knocked like six feet of slack in my line. There we go. Nice one right in the top of the head here. Kind of hooked the same way that last one was. I lost one just a few minutes ago. I don't know if I put that in, but uh, kind of has it on the outside of his head, but that is a pretty little bass right there, a jerk bait. Uh, first fish of the day. I haven't fished for too long here, probably about an hour, and uh, I've got three bites on this jerk bait so far, so I think this might be the deal today. That fish crushed it. <laughs> awesome little fish. I'm actually fishing pretty close to the shore right here too. All this is is a um, island out here in the middle of this lake here, and uh, creek channel swings in right on this shore, and that fish was just sitting right on that break. There's a, some good chunk rock here, and it breaks off into probably 12, 13 feet of water right off the bank. So so a good little spot to find winter bass and it's a good first fish of the day. Let's get back to it. I felt that fish hit it and my line went, I don't know what was going on. I like reeled up and I had like literally six feet of slack in my line. So you really wanted it. Uh, all I'm throwing here, I was throwing a, a KVD jerk bait before I switched up to this Lucky Craft Pointer. This is just my go-to jerk bait in the winter. It catches so many fish. And this is the Sartre Shad color. And I, I just love this color. I throw it in all water clarities and catch a ton of fish on it. And uh, all I'm doing with it is just casting it out, reeling it down seven or eight times, giving it three good jerks and I'm letting it sit for probably three to four seconds. The water's like 45 degrees, so it's not that cold. And whenever the water is like above 45, I'll normally just let it pause for three or four seconds. And then if it gets below 45, I'll let it sit for seven to eight seconds. Another one. They're stacked on this bank. Another nice one. Not catching giants, but those are some nice keepers right there. And that fish ate that bait a lot better. That was three casts after that last one. Let me get this guy unhooked. Here we go, nice fish. But yeah, that's kind of a common misconception about fishing in the winter. Uh, a lot of people think you have to fish really deep, fish offshore. But really, as long as you find an area that has some good rock on it and it's close to deep water, and it really doesn't have to be that deep. It just needs to be, you know, a little bit deeper than the surrounding area. So like right here, um, I'm sitting in 11 feet of water, which isn't that deep really when you think about it. But all around me, I have a big flat that's just, you know, two to three feet of water. And this little area right here where this channel swings in is the deepest water in the area. And again, with that good rock, these fish are going to be sitting here feeding up. Got him. Big one. I don't know how big this is, guys. This is a toad. Get up here. Yes. Look at that thing right there, guys. Woo! Oh, man. It's a five pounder. 
that is a toad. Look how he ate that jig. Whew, I found this football jig fishing here off a little uh, rocky hump, and uh, that's like my third cast. I'm gonna pull away from this real quick. It's awesome though. Half ounce green pumpkin football jig. Uh, I don't have the scales in the boat with me today, but I'd say that that's four and a half to five pounds somewhere around there. So I'm gonna throw him the live well. I'll get a picture later. That's awesome though. Uh, again, I caught a couple of uh, those smaller fish this morning on a jerk bait, but uh, I just wasn't getting the quality I was looking for. I know this lake has big fish in it, so I decided to pick up this football jig and I came out to a little uh, rocky hump that has some brush in it. It's about 15 feet deep and it's just a great spot to catch fish in the winter. It's surrounded by about 25 feet of water, 15 foot up on top, and uh, that was like my third cast on it, so maybe there's some more down there. But I was working that jig super slow down here too. Um, just cast it out and made sure it hit the bottom. And then I'm just kind of crawling it over every single rock. And then that fish bit it while it was sitting there for maybe three or four seconds. So uh, don't move your baits too fast in the winter, whether that's a jerk bait or a jig, and you're gonna get more bites. jig I mean that was like my third or fourth cast in there after I caught that last one so there could be a bunch of big bass stacked up on this hump so I put a live well again try to get another one this is awesome dude <laughs> Okay, so here's a better image of the spot I'm fishing using the side scan of a hummingbird unit. And all it is is a hump that's in about 15 feet of water and is surrounded by 25 feet of water around it. And it just has some really good rock and some really good brush up on top of it. And it's a great place for these bass to winter. And here's another look at this spot using the 2D sonar on my graph. And again, you can see that nice hump. And you can also see this thick red line on the bottom. And whenever you see that on your graph, that indicates hard bottom. And in the winter, you wanna find spots that have really hard bottom because it holds heat. It's normally gonna be rocks or big uh, boulders or concrete, something like that. And uh, these type of humps are great on lakes all across the country, not just here in Arkansas. So definitely be on the lookout for these spots on your home lake and you're gonna find some big bass. Now, while I'm retying this crankbait, I want to mention something pretty important. If you notice on that uh, first couple fish I caught in that jerk bait, I caught them within two casts of each other. And then I just caught those other two really good fish in the jig within three casts of each other. And a lot of times in the winter, when you find fish and you catch one, you're going to catch one right after it. They group up and you'll catch two or three within five minutes. And if you watch any of my winter videos last year, you'll notice that that happened all the time when I was fishing. And so what I try to do when I fish in the winter is cover as much water as I can. And when I get a fish, try to get back into that area as quick as I can. Because a lot of times you can catch two or three fish really fast. Then you might go two or three hours without a bite and then you'll find another little group of them. So don't get discouraged and just cover a lot of water and you're gonna catch more fish. And to really emphasize how important I think it is to fish fast and cover water in the winter, I made this graphic showing my path around the lake and all the spots I fished. And as you can see, I'm covering a ton of water. And I only fished for six hours this day, but I hit, I think, 18 different spots and I was fishing spots multiple times throughout the day if I got bites there. So I was probably only spending 10 to 15 minutes on average at each spot. And this might sound a little bit crazy to some of you guys, and I used to frustrate the crap out of all my boat captains when I fished junior tournaments because I run around the lake so much. But what I've found is that when I'm fishing specific targets like a creek channel swing, a brush pile, or an offshore rock pile, I seem to get most of my bites in the first five casts on that spot. And I've realized this applies in all seasons, from the spring to the winter. And the only exceptions are when I'm sight fishing or if I'm fishing down like a big stretch of grass and the fish are kind of scattered out. And so uh, next time you go to the lake, try this technique of making five or 10 casts on the spot and then moving to a new area. And try to cover as much water as you can in a day. I think this is gonna help you find more fish and maybe put some bigger fish in the boat too. 
Okay guys, now I just wanna go over the gear I was using today. First off, the jerk bait. I was throwing a Lucky Craft Pointer 100 in the Sartreuse Shad color. Now I was just throwing it on a seven foot medium light action bait casting rod with 12 pound fluorocarbon line. And then for the football jig, the bait I caught those big fish on, I'm just throwing a half ounce Strike King football jig in the green pumpkin color with a green pumpkin menace grub on the back. And I really like that menace grub as my jig trailer. Whenever the water's below 75 degrees, it's just a great trailer when the water's cold. And I'm just throwing that on a seven foot six uh, heavy action bait casting rod with 15 pound fluorocarbon line. And then as far as the other baits I tried today, I really only throw five baits in the winter time. Normally I'll have a uh, lipless crankbait tied on. I'll have an Alabama rig in the boat just in case I want to get hung in a brush pile or something. And then uh, I'll always have a little flat side crankbait tied on too on 10 pound test. And uh, really along with the jig and the jerk bait, those are the only baits I throw in the winter time. Those seem to get me the biggest bites and the most fish. And so I normally don't like to throw too many different baits in the winter. I just keep it simple and I change up the areas if I want to try to find different size fish. Guys, I'm gonna have to call it quits a little bit earlier than I'd like to. I had an issue with one of my SIM cards, so I don't have any more space on my camera, but uh, still managed to catch four good fish today. Uh, probably had 14 pounds for my four fish and then lost that two and a half, three pound of this more than that jerk bait. So not too bad of a day. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about fishing jigs and jerk baits in the winter time. And if you did, hit like and subscribe down below and leave a comment if you have any questions about what I was doing. So hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Okay, I just want to show you guys that I'm releasing these bass, so I'm going to pull them out of here real quick. Number one. Whew. Nice fish. Back in there. Number two. Beautiful bass. Let's get the release on this guy. He's gone.